Welcome to What's in the Box. Today we'll be reviewing another Toonie Terror, that of the burnt visage of Freddy Krueger. This is, of course, NECA's Toonie Terror line and Freddy Krueger. Again, simple, typical clamshell packaging and the animated looking backdrop. Now again, I take issue with the <laughs> backdrops. Um, yes, this is the boiler room. Uh, as I'm not really sure what they were going for here. This is a much bigger uh, picture than should be on this figure. Um, again, I would have liked to have seen the actual boiler for the boil, boiler room. Uh, some smaller piping but as you can see this is like what is that that's huge that's as big as the figure I, I don't quite understand why they would have that there but yeah I take a bit of a, a nitpicky approach on this background but I'm not sure if this figure was earlier in the line or not uh, we'll have to see when it comes to some of the other Toonie Terrors but hopefully they'll do better uh, with the, the display cards later in the line. So, yep, here we have Freddy Krueger. He is another favorite 80s horror icon for me. Um, again, this figure is not a particular look. It's just a generalized look, and that's fine. Simple figures, simple look. So let's uh, peel into him a little bit here. Maybe a little more careful with the card this time. Again, no scissors or exacto knife. Eventually, I'll remember these things. <laughs> Eventually, but I think we're doing better with the card this time out. his display card. Let's check for new toy smell. It's a little bit there. It's a little bit there. Alright, let's see how horrible this goes. <laughs> As the last time I just ripped poor Jason right out of his packaging. Okay. That went a little better. There we go. Popped it out of there, no problems. <laughs> His stance kind of cracks me up. Let's see if he will actually stand at all. He does have two peg holes. Yep, it looks like we're going to have an issue here with him standing. Maybe it's the position of the arms. Let's throw the arms out here a little bit. Nope. Well, that's a big problem. He will not stand on his own, so he'll have have to have a, uh, a display peg underneath him. Wish I had some tape to just kind of tape him down here. All right, so normal articulation, wrist moves, shoulder moves. On this figure, there is no movement. Let's see, head. Outside of those three or four things I mentioned there, no movement, waist down. Which is kind of a problem if you're Freddy, don't you think? Uh, I won't get into it. <laughs> um, he looks like he's maybe, of course not film specific, but if I were to hazard a guess, Definitely the later films, probably three and up. So yeah, he has his classic red and green sweater and his uh, crispy looking uh, skin there. Of course, this isn't exact 
to the film. Again, these are a cartoon version of it. As far as paint goes, the pants and shoes seem great. The glove is really well done. Again, similar to the Jason Figures machete, they have done sort of a, a shading and a highlight here on the blades. That's really cool. The glove's well done. The, uh, the bolts in the glove are painted. Let's see. Now the shirt does have a couple specks, eh, three maybe. Looks like a little green paint got down in this area and a little skin tone up here on his shoulder, but nothing major. It's, it's very minuscule. Skin wise, it doesn't look like they sculpted specific skin lesions. They're, they're just sort of random, uh, and then the paint is kind of random. So, not a big deal, but uh, that's something if you want to nitpick, you could get at. But, hat looks good, no problems there. Uh, his expression's pretty Freddy-like. I wouldn't have mind seeing a, a laughing head or something like that, but of course, 12 bucks, you're not going to see an extra head. But uh, yeah, good good expression. I do take issue with him not standing up on his own. But I mean, that's as simple as some blue tack, if you know what that is. It's, it's just like a little poster putty. Put it under one foot and he's fine. He's, he's a light figure, so he doesn't need much. You could use tape maybe if you wanted, double-sided, uh, or a display stand. But uh, yeah, I think he's, he's pretty great and the paint's pretty good and yeah, hopefully you will consider Toonie Terrors because <laughs> I think they're kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think uh, if I had a chance I'd pick him up again or, or a variant of him maybe. And then of course you can see him with his display card that makes absolutely no sense. But <laughs> hey, I can't complain too much really. Uh, but yeah, this has been NECA's Toonie Terror Freddy Krueger, and uh, this has also been What's in the Box. Stick around. We've got quite a bit more to go. Thanks.